Are you struggling to ensure that your subscribers receive events in the correct order when using RxSwift? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into a common issue with shared subscriptions and how to manage execution order effectively. I totally get it. It can be incredibly frustrating when your observables don't behave as expected, especially when the order of events is crucial for your application. You're definitely not the only one facing this challenge. Let's look at a specific question from a user. They want to know how to ensure that a subscriber to an observable receives the on next event after another subscriber. This is particularly important when dealing with properties that need to be set before validating data. So what's the underlying issue here? The user has multiple observables and they want to ensure that the combined latest binding triggers only after the individual subscriptions have executed. This is crucial for accurate validation of the account details. Stay with me, because at the end of this video, I'll share a powerful tip that can help you manage your RxSwift subscriptions more effectively. To ensure that the subscriber receives the on next event after another subscriber, the user should first consider the order of subscription. The user can achieve this by using a combination of the merge and delay operators. Next, the user should modify the subscription to the first observable. This will allow the user to set the account details before the second observable triggers. Then, the user should subscribe to the second observable with a delay. This ensures that the second subscription waits for the first one to complete before executing. Finally, the user can combine the latest values from all observables. This will ensure that the valid for signup property is only evaluated after all necessary account details have been set. Fun fact, did you know that RxSwift was inspired by the reactive extensions for .NET? It's amazing how these concepts have evolved and are now widely used in iOS development. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggested by a user involves creating an account detail struct that combines the observables for first name, last name, bio, and website. This struct calculates the valid for signup property based on the validity of each input. In this solution, each input is mapped to a validity check and the valid for signup observable is updated whenever any of the inputs change. This ensures that the binding to is valid only triggers after all properties are set correctly. Let's move forward and look at another answer. An alternative approach suggested by another user involves handling data validation with a single subscription. They recommend combining the observables for first name, last name, bio, and website into an array and using combine latest to bind the results to a validation observable. The user also provides a function to validate the fields. This function takes an observable of all fields and maps the data to check if it's valid. The validation result updates reactively whenever new data is received. This solution maintains the order of the source observables and avoids storing state, making it completely reactive. Here's that powerful tip I promised. Always consider the order of your subscriptions and how they interact with each other. This can save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. By managing your subscription order, you can ensure that your observables behave as expected. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips on RxSwift and reactive programming.